Going to the movies for me, especially while I was growing up as a kid, was an event and something really exciting that I would look forward to and, you know, just to be transported to this other world was fun. And from every step of the way, from learning that we were going to getting to the theater and getting candy and popcorn to walking down that long, dark hallway to find your theater to finding your seat and sitting down in this, you know, dark, cool theater and then, you know, enjoying a movie was always something to look forward to and something fun. And a great example of that for me was the first movie I ever saw, which was The Lion King in the mid-90s. I was probably four or five years old and my parents took me into the city we got to the theater and I remember standing in the lobby of the theater and kind of how ornate it was. It felt big, like everything about it was big. The theater itself, the screen, and I found my seat and we sat down and this was the beginning of a lifelong fear of me of someone tall sitting in front of me because as I was sitting there, someone, some man sat in front of me that was probably six foot tall to me it was like a tower I couldn't see the the screen and that stuck with me <laughs> and throughout my life as and especially as a child like it was a fear that often like became a your fear coming true because it happened to me a lot that I'd sit down and some very tall person would sit in front of me and I couldn't see the screen it's something that getting over that fear and finally, you know, not worrying about it felt like a growing up, you know, being becoming a real adult because it was something that really followed me through childhood. In 2006, I was in college and I didn't go to the movies much because of money. Um, but the Cinemark, which was the local multiplex at the mall, did this thing called Friday Night Rewind, where they would play a movie that, if I remember correctly, was voted or lobbied for. And the tickets were cheaper too, so you could see things like 2001 or whatever um, in a theater on the big screen, and it was awesome. The ones that I remember the most was when they screened Jurassic Park. And before they screened the movie, everyone sang the John Williams theme. One of my friends from college got up and sort of let everybody conducted the whole audience. 
Um, for those in the know, which I assume is most, there are no words, so we all kind of just voiced the instrumentation. Uh, okay. It was a great time, and it's definitely hard to forget. My most memorable theater experience has to be seeing Christopher Nolan's Interstellar in 2014. Up to that point, I'd never seen a movie utilize a theater as well as that one did, and this one was in IMAX. So I had the giant wall-to-wall -wall screen and the booming bass of the audio, and it all together just took me to another world, and literally with that movie, the trippy wormhole visuals, the shots of the foreign planets, the vastness of the open space, even the shots on Earth of them driving through the cornfield, it just blew me away. And all of it was set over one of my favorite soundtracks ever by Hans Zimmer. To this day, I listen to that on flights, on takeoffs. I even have the, the ticket from that exact screening still at home. It really wasn't until Interstellar that I fully realized what a theater could do. And the weirdest thing is that six years later, Interstellar was the last movie I saw in theaters. The Metrograph had a special screening back in March, and I didn't realize it would be the last time I would sit in a movie theater for what seems like will be a very long time. There's a weird poetry to that, but if there's any movie I go out with, I'm glad it was Interstellar.
One of the more poignant movie theater experiences I've had would probably be seeing Call Me By Your Name at the Paris Theater in New York City. It's right off of Central Park, so and the Plaza Hotel, so location-wise, um, it's a very magical part of the city, and the theater itself is the last single-screen theater in New York, and it's you, you go in and it has the same carpeting from, I, I don't know, the first show that I ever had and what the date was, but there were three people in the audience watching the movie. I was the only person on the upper balcony level, and then there were two other folks sitting uh, down on the orchestra level. And I just remember it being really emotional, obviously because of the film, but I was also just getting over a very intense breakup and all three people in the theater were by themselves and it felt like a very healing experience. And I just remember ordering one cup of tea and drinking it and watching the movie by myself and coming out and feeling very healed uh, after watching that film. And definitely a large part of that was because of the theater itself and, and the magic of it. One of my best theater experiences was uh, back in 1985 when I was 16 years old. And I had a girlfriend who was a little older than me. She was about 21 at the time. Her name was Maria. She was very pretty. She had a dimple in her cheek when she smiled. And uh, we went to see Rocky IV. Uh, I'm not sure where. Maybe in the Bronx. Maybe in Manhattan. I remember the theater having stadium seating. And uh, it was packed. Everyone was there to see Hollywood's newest blockbuster. And uh, I remember Maria pulled out a joint that was rolled in strawberry flavored paper. Um, we smoked it during the movie. No one seemed to care back then. And uh, we made out, we held hands. All was right in the world. It was a great time. chocolate bars and the candy so let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat 